Oh wow. Is this accidentally fire lighting? I'm here to share with you the whole development process behind um, our lash launch. So if you don't know, um, Auric, my cosmetics brand, is launching lashes. Um, I think this video, if I edit in time, will be out on launch day. I don't even have to do the customary, I've been working on these for years, because this launch came together so much faster than any other product development we've ever done. The lab was just like, boom, fire, boom, fire. There you go, done. With the lashes, like I drew out every lash and I had like this millimeter here, this millimeter here, this millimeter here, and I want it to be this long and this wide and blah, blah, blah. Um, and uh, they just nailed it. It was so fast and so quick and it was great. And then the packaging, like we had no holdups with the packaging. It's just like, it's, a miracle really. So this whole launch from packaging to the names um, to the editorial shoot and all of that was really heavily inspired by butterflies. So I ended up doing a lot of research about butterflies um, as I was looking for names and all of that kind of stuff. And over the course of our development of these, um, unfortunately the migratory monarch is now on some endangered species lists. I have some stats. So there's been an estimated 99.9% .9 decline um, in population since the 1980s. In the 1990s, there was a recorded migration of approximately 1.2 million monarchs. Um, and by 2020, the recorded population was less than 2000. Long story short, because we were so heavily inspired by butterflies, we felt like it made sense um, to donate a portion of sales of these lashes to um, butterfly conservation. So a dollar from every single set will be going towards the Center for Biological Diversity. And the Center for Biological Diversity um, does a really great job with legally holding people and organizations accountable um, for destruction of habitats and all of that kind of stuff. So without any further ado, let's get into this packaging. So when we were looking at pictures of different species of butterflies, um, something we noticed is that a lot of them have translucency to their wings. Um, so the idea with the packaging was to have this sleeve around the box that would be a little bit translucent. So you could see the logo of the compact underneath through the sleeve. So every single box, this is recyclable. This you can break down and recycle. And then the idea with the compact was that this would be something you would reuse and keep instead of having a dirty lash bowl. Not that any of us are against having a dirty lash bowl. Um, it's a staple for many of us at our vanities, I think. This is, this is simply an alternative, if nothing else. And here's the thing, okay? I'm gonna close the compact because I feel like this might get long-winded. For years, years, I've been saying, like, I don't know why more brands don't have half lashes. If I had a brand, I would have half lashes. Like that would be my main priority because I feel like half lashes are so comfortable no matter your eye shape. They're so much easier to apply, especially if you're just starting out with lashes. They're just great. Like they're beautiful, they're easy, they're awesome, love them. And so for me over the past few years, basically I'll find a lash that I really love and then I'll chop it up because I want it to be half lash. And then I'll be like, oh, that's unfortunate because now I kind of, I'm doing a more dramatic look today and I kind of want it to be a fuller lash and like now we're, we have a problem. And then I was trying to like save the other side of the lash and try and reconstruct it on my eyelid and it just like really wasn't working out for me. So then a lot of the times I would purchase a second set of whatever lash style I liked knowing that I was gonna cut up <laughs> one of them and end up having to get rid of half of the lash and then keeping one full so that when I wanted that full set, I would have it. So we had started talking to, um, this lash manufacturer and and alongside the development of these lashes we ended up finding this compact that had two layers to it and i was like wow the answer to my prayers it has two layers i can do two lashes i can do a half lash and a full lash and everything is coming together perfectly here <laughs> so on the top half of each set you'll see the half lash and the half lash is a little bit shorter a little bit less full and then obviously it's a half lash um and we this doesn't matter to anybody but we <laughs> when we were assembling it let's do the lash up and down so it looks kind of like a sun okay day lash uh-huh and then this one looks like two crescent moons night lash uh, uh, day night day sun moon no okay and then the full lash is on the bottom so the full lash is 
a little bit longer, a little bit fuller and thicker, um, and then obviously it's a full strip. So this first set is called Clouded. That was the name that I thought was the coolest. This is my favorite set of lashes. It's named after the Clouded Yellow Butterfly. And this is just like my everyday kind of go-to lash. It's like a little bit wispy, it's not super long, it's not really, really fine. So it really just is like, for me and my makeup style, I feel like it fits any look. Like I can wear it with a really, really basic, simple eye. I can wear it with something more dramatic and a winged liner and all of that kind of stuff. And it still shows through and you still see the style of the lash really beautifully. And it just always looks really balanced and I love it. So it's my favorite set. It's the set I wear most often and it has the coolest name in my opinion. Set two is called Glass Wing and it has this beautiful pink and purple packaging, very Barbie. Love it. I feel like Glasswing is the name that everyone's gonna think of the coolest, but whatever. Gla wow, Glasswing is a really beautiful lash. Okay, this lash is the lightest, um, kind of most subtle lash out of the three sets that we have. The fibers aren't as curled as the other two sets. They're a little bit straighter, like they're still curled obviously, but having that slightly less curled fiber makes them a little bit more kind of like natural feeling. This set will probably also be the most comfortable for those of you that aren't as familiar with wearing lashes or feel like they've always looked too dramatic on you. And if you are a beginner with lashes, I really, really recommend starting out with that half lash first, getting used to applying because it is so easy to apply a half lash in comparison to a full one. And you'll get a better sense of like how tacky you want glue to be before you apply. Um, without you know having it be this full lash that you're trying to wrangle. So you can get used to using the half lash and then you can upgrade to the full lash if you want down the road. So this is Glasswing. I mean, she is pretty, I'll say it. So that's the half set and then we have the full set. Focus here, focus here. Then last but not least, we have Viceroy. So this comes in a more kind of like bluey green and orange packaging. So this is like, if you wanna bring the drama, but honestly, no, it is a more dramatic lash. This is our longest lash, the most dramatic one for sure. So this is the half lash. And then underneath we have the full lash. Here's what I'll say. I've been wearing this lash consistently in my Instagram posts and TikToks and reels and all that kind of shit over the past like month, month and a half, I'd say. And every single time I wear these, this is the lash I get the most questions about. What are you wearing? So those are all three of the lash sets. Look how cute they look lined up as a little bookshelf. I'm just saying. But to summarize, Clouded is like my go-to every day, all the time. Love it. Glasswing I love for no makeup makeup days um, or if I'm just doing a more subtle makeup. A lot of the times I find that I go towards this if I'm recreating like a celebrity makeup or something because oftentimes they will have a little bit of a lighter, kind of more subtle, wispy lash. And then Viceroy, again, it was meant to be this like really dramatic lash for more dramatic makeup, but I have been wearing it with like all of my normal makeup styles and really enjoying it. <laughs> every single one of these lashes are vegan, they're foaming. During development, we made sure to test these on every eye shape we possibly could. Um, and then we actually did two different photo shoots for this. It was mayhem. Honestly, we did our editorial shoot because I can't not do it. It's so fun, okay? I I know Instagram is dying. I know nobody wants to see still photos anymore. I want still photos for me, if nothing else. I just love the creativity that goes into shoots and that entire shoot was stunning, really. If I do say so myself, it was a masterpiece. The lighting setup was just ridiculous. <laughs> it took so much time to set up the lighting between every model because what we were doing with the lighting on this photo shoot, I'll send up, post some photos up here while I'm talking about this probably. So it's a little bit more interesting. Um, but we, whatever lash set they were wearing, um, we matched the lighting in the background to the color of the secondary packaging. And then we were trying to think of unique ways to highlight the eye instead of just having it be like a bunch of close-up shots um, of the lashes. So we had like this, like it's like a self-watering bulb. We had a self-watering bulb <laughs> that we filled with water that had like this iridescent finish. And we were holding that while shining a light through it towards the model's eye so that it would highlight the eye with that. Um, we had these like shutter kind of things on the lights so it would make um, just like this one line of light across their eyes um, and the rest of their face wasn't really lit. It was a ball, the whole thing was great. And then the second day we brought in eight models so that we could photograph all six styles on every single eye shape. So if you're curious when launch comes what a particular style will look like 
on the eye shape closest to yours, um, you will be able to find that on the product page. There will be, I think a link is what we decided on. I don't do the website stuff, I'll be honest. I just am like, can we, can you, can, ha, someone, someone make this a thing. <laughs> but I think what it'll be is a link. So you'll be able to go through to a page that has every single eye shape um, and a chart wearing the half lash and the full lash of every single style. So you can kind of determine from there what style you're going for most and what it's likely going to end up looking like on your eye. On a personal note, listen, I know some people were kind of disappointed that it ended up being lashes because we were teasing the compact and everyone thought it was going to be a cream blush or they thought I was going to be remaking the original warm soul and like that's a lot of pressure for me but i will say this is a launch that's very dear to my heart because lashes have been such a huge part of my kind of like makeup and beauty identity um since i started getting into makeup really around the same time that i started experimenting more with eyeshadow and eyeliner and all those kinds of things um i started wearing lashes as well but i truly feel like it is just the ultimate like final part of the transformation for me like it takes any look from year to year and i've always just felt like that's what really completed my look and honestly <laughs> i turned down a lot of mascara ads over the years because usually i would ask if i could like apply the mascara show the mascara and what it looked like on my bare lashes but then apply lashes <laughs> after that and most brands were like no, <laughs> we're trying to sell a mascara here, but I'm ecstatic for this. It's just been so fun making products for myself, if nothing else. <laughs> it's so fun making things to like my exact specification and throughout all the products I've tried in my career, I have always been like, ooh, like I wish this could just be a little bit more this, you know, a little bit fuller, a little bit longer, whatever. Um, and it's just cool to be able to make those things exactly how I wanted them to be. So thank you guys so much um, for the support as always. If you guys end up picking up a pair of these, I hope that you love them and I can't wait to see what you guys create. Thanks for hanging out and chatting. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.